So you might be like some of my clients who are like, woo, I got the job. Uh oh, now what, right? How do I make the most of this new position or this new opportunity? You really want to be thinking about like, what are all the things that I'm concerned about? Where are all the places that I might uh, have some confusion? Where are the places that I might need to ask for help? How can I go about honing up on the different areas that I'm going to be responsible for? So you really want to, again, go back, as I always keep saying, go back to that self-assessment, really understanding who you are and what's important to you so that you can be thinking about how can I embed those in my life and in my work as I start this new job. One other thing you want to consider as you're setting yourself up for success is how do I want to be perceived? One exercise that I do with my clients is to do what I call the persona statement, which is from the vocal awareness methodology, to really take a moment to understand who am I, how am I currently perceived, and how do I want to be perceived, and what actions and what behaviors and what ways do I need to show up so that I can actually fully step into that persona and be who I want to be and who I'm meant to be. The other thing that I learned the hard way in my first job as a management consultant was to clarify deliverables and really understand what they're looking for. So I highly recommend when you're first coming into a job to really understand and ask, what are the performance metrics? How will you know that I'm doing a great job? How will I know that I'm really contributing to the team? You really want to sit down with your manager and write up, here are the things that I'm going to be focused on. Here are the specific goals and the targets and the deliverables. And here's the resources that I need to ensure that I can perform well. The other thing that is really important besides clarifying deliverables is thinking about managing upwards and sideways. Uh, and if you're a manager, you know, who, how are you going to manage and mentor your team that you're supporting and that you're leading? So in those first meetings with your managers, you also want to ask, who are your favorite employees and what makes it easy to work with them? What's your management style? How can I best support you? Right? So you're understanding what their motivations are and what works well for them. And then you want to share with them, you know, what style of management works for you. So if you're the kind of person that needs that weekly check-in, which I recommend generally, uh, then it's great to have that so that you can share with them, here are the accomplishments that I'm you know, doing well on, here are some places where I need guidance. And then one piece that I really highly encourage you do is to remember to continue to build those relationships for career success. Networking now while you're in a new position is so important. The more people you talk to, the more you'll be able to do your job better. 